What's up, YouTube? We are back again with another banger. <laughs> <laughs> that energy is not for happy heal relationships. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by the one and only self seed podcaster, the CEO of Ozzy, who is called Emmanuel. Is there any other name? Because I just know Emmanuel. Uh, no other name, just Mama. Really, you don't want them to know. Other name. people call me Ozzy because of the of the of the, of the brand, but. Uh, Oh, Emmanuel. but it's not your name. Yeah, I'm Emmanuel Saitoti. Emmanuel Saitoti, okay, yeah, from name. Tanzania. Yes, from the oh, United Republic. Oh, yeah, Republics. I signed to the <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're welcome, and I'm so happy to be talking to you today. Thank you. And yeah, you know, like I've been listening to your podcasts. Oh. Yeah, and the thing, the, the podcast that made me to like want to invite you, like I told you, mm. is the one on communication skills Correct. and the art of listening. Correct. So I was like, oh, there's so much to this podcast and pertaining to communication skills. It's a very important aspect of relationships. Right. So, yeah. I wanted you to talk more about that. Yeah. First question is, why is it important for us to to have communication skills? You know, why is it important for us to actually cultivate that in our life in general and in our relationships? I think it's a... Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I'm delighted to be here. You are doing a great job, you know, educating people and stuff and sharing what you, you know, what you... Uh, learn what you think is best to help relationships move 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 uh, further. Yeah. And um, as, as pertaining to your question, the importance of communication skills. I think first the biggest aspect is communication skills define who you are. It's like the embodiment of what you are. Because if you're not able to speak to express yourself, yeah. then people can know. The same, if you're not able to listen to others, people will put, will uh, perhaps understand you as a person who doesn't maybe like to pay attention to others. For example, if it's with your partner and you're a person who doesn't listen, like listen to, to understand. If you're not listening to understand, you're just listening and then it's like it enters the other ear, then comes out the other ear. Yeah. It means that, that your partner will definitely be fine you as this type of a person that you know my, my let's say my boyfriend or my girlfriend doesn't listen even if i'm that's when relationships now start that partners start to begin to talk to other people for advice or for different issues because their partners inside are not they're not listening yeah they're not really listening that's why they they, they last week's episode was um, the art of listening and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's just a concept of communication skills that it's very important to to daily life because the way you listen how yeah. you talk how you writing you know reading all of these help you become a, a better person so i think communication skills embodies to define helps you define who you are wow. will help you tell the world what kind of a person you are so mm. we should learn more how to talk mm. express ourselves express our thoughts and find suitable means to express ourselves yeah, yeah yeah okay okay the the next question is um how do you develop communication skills because it's not something that you are born with it's not like they're great public speakers automatically they were born like that it's something that you have to learn and so when it comes to relationships and your personal journey in life how can you develop communication skills i think i think that the, the, the first part the first the first important part yeah is to develop mindfulness mindfulness yeah attention to the moment attention to your thoughts attention mm -hmm. to your attention to your environment, environment. uh mm -hmm. just pay attention to whatever it's surrounding you meaning know what's happening at that exact moment and why is it happening and how are you supposed to react or how are you supposed to perform in that scenario 
because if you if you are numb and you don't understand when things are happening and you don't know how to deal with them mm -hmm. that brings about difficulty in life generally generally meaning how you navigate through different aspects of life will be hard yeah. so you first need to be in touch with yourself knowing if this scenario happens why is it happening and how am I, how am i attending it okay. how am i pertaining myself to it how am i holding up you know yeah. so that you are able to navigate through different aspects of life but then the other thing is practicing regularly How whatever practicing. the skill that you want to develop yeah if you want to develop for example in, in in communication skills as it is if you are you want to develop public speaking you need to constantly practice it regularly yeah. stay in front of the mirror present your ideas show boldness show confidence but if you're developing communication skills, meaning you want to improve how you re re relate with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, mm -hmm. uh, your parents, your, your children, your, I think you need to also practice regularly. What am I going to say to her? If she says this, how am I going to respond? You know, like generate questions, right? Confront mm -hmm. confrontational questions and then answer them before they, ha they happen in real life scenarios. Mm -hmm. So meaning... Just practice. You know that definitely you are mindful. You know how the person is. You know how your your, your boyfriend is. Yes. Then make sure that you have developed a way in which I'm going to address this issue today. Yeah. If she asks this question, I will have definite answers about this aspect. So you you go prepared. <laughs> yeah, it's like people. It's like it's the same as you're preparing for an interview. You practice sample questions that might happen okay. in case others happen you will know how to deal with them in that scenario in that moment but then you have already prepared yourself for anything that's going to happen so practice okay. regularly try to understand okay this is what i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. this is how i'm supposed to talk There's, there was one issue that happened right yeah. and this is how i'm going to talk about it versus in front of this person Right. Yeah, so I think that comes in handy when you are about to have like a difficult conversation with someone or exactly. those very hard conversations. Exactly. Because yeah, mm. yeah. So I think it's very, it's it's very uh, important mm. to like really think about what you're going to say and how you're going to respond. Correct. Correct. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's, do you have more to to add to that I, I, especially I when it is like yeah. hard conversations yeah when when you're going to have hard conversations yeah also be prepared apart from practicing be prepared like be how to say i would like to say this as be dynamic okay be responsive at ex different scenarios okay. meaning you're going to have a conversation mm -hmm. then be prepared if someone uses emotions to respond to your to your questions Mm -hmm. If someone asks you rational questions or emotional questions, be ready. Yeah. Because then if you're not ready, what if someone asks you, uh, you went to your boyfriend or girlfriend and then you're saying, you know what, I think we should, um, we should uh, practice, let's say, boundaries. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> you didn't go prepared with the fact, fact, uh, factful head. Mm -hmm. And then someone asks you, why should we do that? Where is it? Maybe give me proof. Why are we? Why are we even? Uh, why are we even supposed to do that? What's our objective in this relationship? So it's like know how to answer different scenarios, because then if you're not prepared for different kind of scenarios, yeah, you just answer from one aspect, and then you you might you might uh, confuse the other person or cause anger to the other person, offend the other person. Mm. so just be mindful that i am the one going to bring up this conversation but then i have to be dynamic reason with this person right yeah because you 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 know that in case this happens i am ready to shift and stand in a point of uh, a, a third person for example a relationship is of two people right yeah. but then sometimes be ready to take yourself out even if it's the, your boyfriend coming to you for hard conversations or your girlfriend coming to you for hard conversations be ready to, to not just being a boyfriend, but at the same time being an, uh, an observer, the third person outside. See, if your girlfriend says, I think this relationship is not helping me to cope with a certain scenario, do not just use emotions and say, 
but you know try to make being defensive or trying to be protective to your cause mm. go outside and the third person and say what have i really helped this person yeah, I how think. have i been helping this person with this problem if it's not then suggest measures as a third person of how to help the scenario yeah but sometimes it's hard to like think objectively when the situation is involving you you know because most times when you are especially if it is a hard conversation you are going to react subjectively like you are the one affected and that is how you're going to respond so for you to take your shoes off and then view the situation objectively is very hard yeah so like don't the, be defensive first, yeah. first thing first don't be defensive especially when they are talking like someone is pointing a finger at you don't just be defensive use like stay in a place where try to understand first the reality and then later up, attach with the this the, um, the re, uh, accept the reality meaning you know yourself so don't just jump into being defensive if someone says but i feel like you do this and this and this to me and i'm not satisfied then you just run but i do this but i do no go first reflect do i really do this what kind of a person am i because we enter relationships it's like we forget which type of people we are and then we expect that in that in, in that relationship we will be different people mm. why really people are not there to change you because you have been 30 years 20 years without the person and then you mm. expect them to change you or you expect you to change them so yeah. don't be defensive take a stance which is uh neutral sometimes it's hard but take that stance yeah, that's why we say be, practice mindfulness it's very knowing hard. when is the right time to do the right thing mm. okay yeah yeah i i like the mindfulness thing and another aspect of it is listening right mm. like listening to the other person mm. for the sake of understanding them like you said not just for you to respond or to Peace. show them that your points are more valid right you understand yeah right. so 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 i like that ladies let's get less defensive because yeah most of the times we think that we are always right but i think that for a relationship to work out sometimes you have to be wrong you know it's teamwork yeah like you have to take it as a win-win situation right. you're not there to attack the other party yeah like opposition party but you're actually on the same party yeah so yeah i i definitely like that so what do you think are the most common mistakes that people make when they are having this difficult conversations and what can they do to avoid it i think maybe the avoiding part we have already talked about but like what are the the common mistakes that people do you know when maybe there is a conflict and things are really tense you know you can feel it sometimes in the room that hey the sky has turned black because somebody is angry and you know that a conversation has to be had yeah so i think there's a right approach to it but what are those mistakes that sometimes we make unknowingly that affect the end of the conversation first thing is you being defensive if you if a certain scenario is happening if there is a problem don't rush into being the person who is on the right corner Mm. no first take time to analyze you know if you just rush into being the right person perhaps you are the wrong person yep hey, hey, but you got it wrong to the extent that you just defended yourself and then later when you're sleeping when you, when you have gone apart from this person is when you are reflecting and then you're thinking oh i think this one is uh i think i should have done this i should yeah. have done you see this always comes but it's later regretting. so first remove yourself from i think the, the, the first mistake is for us to put ourselves as the ones being attacked it doesn't yeah, matter like victim, hey, right? i'm like oh, yeah. but it's not fair it's not fair what they are doing to me you know mm -hmm. first remove yourself from the shoes and then try to reflect and see okay what's happening okay and you can put it here yes. oh, thank, you. thank you sometimes it's, it's not what's happening but we go with that aspect that 
he has always been doing this you know last time she did this and then when you come to reflect why did she do it that time and why is he doing it this time so be okay. less less uh, in the position of the victim then the other mistake that we do mm, let me think let me think about my own mistakes because i the mistakes that i take i talk about sometimes that i talk about my own mistakes yeah. and i'm the things that i'm trying to rectify in as much as oh um, i like that then. not too much like mr noise yeah or... yeah like why would you be like that person even if you're i think there's that concept even if you're a phd person you're a, what you know a lot of things you've researched about a lot of things but you don't know everything you don't know everything knowledge knowledge if knowledge let's say the realm of knowledge is um, is vast. wide is vast mm -hmm. there are people who know things like there are people who know things like so accept that there can be changes there can be differences there can be someone who knows more than us more than me right if you accept that it will be a good thing yeah um when you talk about like accepting that there are people who know better than you it reminds me of counseling or going to seek advice from other people mm. especially as a couple mm -hmm. you know i think there's nothing wrong if you go to someone maybe who is licensed to like help you go through a stage in a in a marriage or a relationship when things are tough because sometimes like i was saying it's very hard to to like see the situation objectively because both of you are like in the situation Indeed. and you are so emotional right yeah. and i heard the saying that says um when emotional is high logic is low yeah yeah which means that sometimes you have to go to someone who knows better or who has been married for a longer time you know to just talk your things out because probably they are going to help you through it but most people they are really proud they will say why should i go to a therapist for example or why should we go to your friend or this other couple that we know of we can do our own thing together mm. alone and we can fight it alone mm. but yeah of course you can do things alone but sometimes if the problem has been going on for so long it might be time to like consult someone who knows better mm -hmm. yeah so I, I i like it well what do you have to say about consulting other people it's, when it comes to relationships marriage and stuff like that very very right it's not just about professional it's yeah. also about the people around you who have done who have made it mm -hmm. like relationships if it is a relationship it should be it, it, it has a certain goal yeah so if a relationship the goal is to get married let us seek advice from people who are married also mm -hmm. meaning your parents don't just go to uh far far things like you go to youtube right yeah this is things that we get online but to start with the simplest thing we can do is we have our parents we have our brothers we have our sisters we have our cousins yeah. who we are close to and who we are friendly to mm -hmm. seek advice because yeah. you don't know everything you all we all learn how to treat our partners how learn the love languages and then you learn about her you try to impress her and stuff yeah. but at the end my mother and father can be a big part of me being able to treat my 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 girlfriend correctly because what i'll ask my father how did you do it when it was in this scenario when it was in this because people who spend more than let's say five, two three four five ten fifteen years together two. Mm -hmm. they have started becoming twins eh two, no <laughs> no not relationship marriage but two okay. two yeah two is less maybe three yeah yeah Three if these people they are, they are starting to become twins meaning they're intertwined they have learned how to cope with each other and they yeah. were in that scenario that they were in that situation that you are in now they were in that situation once mm -hmm. even if it was in the old times where <laughs> maybe the the, the the wife was being you know you, you you steal the mama you bring the wife home and then that's when you go to propose to their parents but they have been in that situation of learning relearning and learning learning again yeah you see they have been in happy uh sad uh, angry situations uh, they have been yeah, in all yeah, those yeah. situations and you are just beginning two weeks three weeks one month and then you're like oh, me i can't do this 
Why? Mm. While at the same time you do not even ask not you, not even your brother who is your closest person not even your friend who is already married he was married two years ago not even that one not even that friend of yours who has been in a relationship for five years you're not even asking and then you're saying you know ladies are like this all guys are all like this did you ask for advice to see how to cope with situations the problem is things like social media nowadays yeah we all want a life that perhaps is not practical in our environment mm. can be practically applied to our environment you see people going in uh, fancy vacations you see people going to good Bahamas, places yeah, yeah. they post to you on social media only when they're having good that, times that, that island in your country zanzibar, zanzibar. you see people to going to, to have fun and what blah 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 yeah. but that's just what they show you how about the other parts and those are people who are virtually there but you have been with your parents for 20 years you're growing under their roof you have seen how they argue you have seen how they get together you have seen how when your father is quarreling with your mother and then he says i'm the right one and then later he goes to apologize you have seen all of that but then you're not I trying to be i've actually not seen that though you haven't seen your father even being being angry a little bit no obviously angry but like arguing with my mom you know those things when you're like ah, 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 nah really yeah not even then it's good it's good for you yeah. but I, I i hope that you have seen a certain situation that you're like you like there are times it. where okay the other one makes the other one angry mm. and the situation is kind of tense but it's like someone they, tried to chill they get back see yeah. you were learning see you didn't you, then, you learned that no but then i wanted to also say like when it comes to marriages, right, do you think, like, the length of time defines how successful the marriage has been? Or even a relationship? Because I feel like sometimes the length, for example, let's say someone is in an abusive relationship, and then they say, I'm not going to leave my husband because of the kids. And then they stay for over 10 years more after the incident happened. I think it's just, been, I think to... It's not just the length of time. I think also the wisdom involved in it can yeah, define yeah, yeah. what type of a marriage is. Yeah, because when you're talking about like people to consult, it's not only about the length of time they have been in, but sometimes I think you can see that these people are actually, you know, happy or they they connect even though they have been together for like five years. Mm you know mm. so yeah i think the wisdom that you're talking about is very necessary in discerning who to talk to because mm. some sisters you go to them and they give you like some shit advice sorry <laughs> i yeah. hope this one is not targeted towards anybody <laughs> i hope there's no sister of yours who's going to watch the, the video and say yeah huh. no 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 i'm she just, just saying i'm just saying yeah because like i once listened to a bishop Doug Ewart Mills, right? Mm. And he was saying that some of the advice that your mom gives you is because she has experienced that and she is bitter. So you should not take every, every advice that you get. Do you understand? Mm. So I think that in as much as you're going to consult other people, your friends, your sister, your mom, you have to like take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah, that's why I said you need to involve also reasoning, right? And yeah. then correlation. Yeah. And then that's when you you now respond. Mm -hmm. Because then reasoning meaning I'm taking advices, right? I, and don't ask one person, don't ask one couple. You but, take various, but, but, you learn but from... But now people are going to know about our relationship, like we are having trouble. <laughs> no, not really. You see, yeah. this is the problem. Why why are you scared of asking for, for the benefit of improving? Because then it's like you don't want to show that you are weak. You want to just show that you are, you are, you know, on a high note always. No, no, not that. But like telling everybody. I didn't mean everybody. I just meant the people whom you uh -huh. can seek for advice. Meaning, okay. if it's a sister, mm -hmm. go to that sister. But then have another couple or another friend or another whomever okay, or even YouTube one, so. or professional coaches. Where even professional coaches, they don't all give advice, but not all of them you can feed them into your relationship. Your own life, yeah. So yeah. I think have alternatives and then reason and then try to calculate: does it work? Does it not work? Where where does which part doesn't work? Which which one will work for your relationship? Because you after you hear is when you try now to alternate, trying to fix, w use what it take what is useful. And put it into your relationship yeah yeah true 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 mm. i like that i like that okay cool um i want to talk about costing right cool 
ghosting a uh, ghosting like ghosts People yes you. like i i just had to talk about it because like it's related to